अस्सलाम वालेकुम फ्रेंड्स कैसे हैं आप सब लोग आप सब लोग बिल्कुल ठीक हैं तो वेलकम टू वीडियोलॉजी भारतीय शेयर इस वीडियो से हम अपने नेक्स्ट टॉपिक स्टार्ट करेंगे करंट टॉपिक हमने कर लिए हैं बी टी फोर जीरो वन के जेनेटिक रिसोर्स कंजर्वेशन और हम लोग आगे चलते हैं टॉपिक नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इसके टॉपिक का नाम है टर्मिनोलॉजी टू इसकी वीडियो लेसन को डाउनलोड कर लेते हैं Dear student, in this module we will discuss different terminologies that we will use in this course. So first of all, breeding. Breeding is the activity of keeping animal or plants in order to produce animal or plants that have some particular quality. The next is inbreeding. Inbreeding is a type of mating. Or inbreeding, though, as a organism or though as a individuals के दरमियान होती है, जो कि आपस में बहुत ज़्यादा closely related हों और एक common ancestor share karte hain for example the mating between full siblings out breeding out breeding breeding system ke type hai jisme dono breeding organism or breeding individual aapas mein related hote hain lekin inke dimyan ek close relation nahi paya jata balki ek distance relation paya jata hai so the intentional breeding of distantly related or unrelated individuals for the purpose of producing offspring of superior quality national strategy for plant genetic resources for food and and agriculture it is a national strategy for plant genetic resources for food and agriculture and is the blueprint for the management of country's plant genetic resources for food and agriculture as a continuum of intervention in order to achieve clearly defined time bound goals the next is migration migration is a relatively long distance movement of individual usually on seasonal basis uh, for example, example as some crustaceans migrate migrate for the purpose of breeding the next is aquatic genetic resources aquatic genetic resources include all genetic resources which are living in water and, and uh, in these resources a uh, fish uh, different type of cycles from the mussels decapods marine mammals and different type of aquatic plants are included domesticated animal resources domesticated animal resources is or the animals that are not wild and is kept as a pet or to produce food uh, dog buffalo goat sheep cattle are some examples of domesticated animal resources the next is antibiotic antibiotic is a chemical substance which is produced by microorganism that can kill or inhibit the growth of other microorganism uh, for example penicillin is example of antibiotic gene flow gene flow is a movement of genes from one population to another population or the introduction of genetic material by interbreeding from one population of a species to an other population the next is vertical gene transfer vertical gene transfer is a form of gene flow in which genes transfer from parents to offspring through sexual reproduction or through asexual reproduction the next is horizontal gene transfer horizontal gene transfer is known to occur between different species such as between prokaryotes and eukaryotes Yards between the three DNA containing organelles of the eukaryotes, for example, the nucleus, the mitochondria, and chloroplast, and all these three organelles are, are the DNA containing organelles. Thank you. So, friends, our ये topic की reading हो गई है complete. अब लग चलते हैं अपनी reading की तरफ. सुपीरियर क्वालिटी नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर पी जी आर एफ ए आर नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर पी जी आर एफ ए इज द ब्लू प्रिंट फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ अ कंट्रीज पी जी आर एफ ए एज अ कंटिन्यूम ऑफ इंटरवेंशन इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव क्लियरली डिफाइंड टाइम टाइम बाउंड गोल्स ठीक है उसके बाद आगे चलते हैं 
migration migration is a relatively long distance movement of individual usually on a seasonal basis some crustaceans migrate for breeding aquatic and genetic resources aquatic genetic resources include all genetic resources living in water fish cyclostomes mussels decapods marine mammals terminology is um, domestic catered animal resources animals that are not wild and is kept as a pet or to produce food dog buffalo goat sheep cattle antibiotics is a chemical uh, antibiotic antibiotic chemical substance produced by microorganisms that can kill or inhibit the growth of other microorganisms so uh, gene flow the introduction of genetic material by interbreeding from uh, from one po- population of a species to another vertical gene transfer the transfer gene from parents to offspring horizontal gene transfer horizontal gene transfer is known as to uh, is known to occur between different species such as between prokaryotes and eukaryotes between the three dna containing organelles of eukaryotes the nucleus the mitochondria and the chloroplast so it up to kota hai complete hum chalte hain aage aage to number 22 hai genetic resources of resources of microorganisms genetic resources of microorganisms dear students we have been discussing about, about uh, genetic resources and different types of genetic resources from some last modules uh, we have discussed about plant genetic resources uh, significance and conservation of plant genetic resources uh, you have also learned about uh, animal genetic resources you have learned about uh, uh, significance of animal genetic resources Uh, domesticated and wild plant as well as animal genetic resources uh, and how we can conserve these different type of genetic resources now in this module we will discuss about uh, an other type of genetic resources which is uh, uh, microorganism genetic resources or genetic resources of microorganisms uh, so here are learning objectives uh, in this module you will learn about about um, uh, uh, the uh, what is uh, genetic resource of micro organism uh, you will also learn about uh, our types of genetic resources of micro organisms and uh, microbial genetic resources programs so let's start with introduction of genetic resources of micro organism uh, first of all we will uh, talk about, about its definition uh, as we have discussed all the definitions of um, uh, different type of genetic resources uh, so the uh, genetic resources of microorganism include all genetic material of uh, uh, these microorganism or all, all genetic material which is present in these microorganism and ha- and to all these material ha- um, must have some ex- uh, uh, actual and, and potential or the future value so these type of genetic resources is known as genetic resources of microorganism the complexity and diversity of microbial population is highest among all living organism tamam living organism mein uh, jo uh, microorganism hai inme sabse zyada uh, diversity pai jati hai aur ye population sabse zyada hai and uh, the diversity of microbial communities and their ecological role are being explored aur हम ये एक्सप्लोरेशन सॉइल में कर रहे हैं वाटर प्लांट्स एनिमल्स इट मींस दैट हम इन डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज में सॉइल वाटर प्लांट्स एनिमल्स इनमें ये जो डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म है इनकी कम्युनिटी की डाइवर्सिटी को और साथ साथ जो इनका जो इकोलॉजिकल रोल है उसको हम यहाँ पर एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं इन एक्सट्रीम इन्वायरमेंट सच एज दर्टिक डीप सी वेंट्स और हाई लाइन एक्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हर तरह इन्वायरमेंट में पाए जाते हैं चाहे वो आर्कटिक डीप सीज वेंट्स हों या लाइन देख हों इन तमाम एक्सट्रीम इन्वायरमेंट में भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म की जो पॉपुलेशन है डाइवर्सिटी है वो पाई जाती है डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म सो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इंक्लूड एल जी बैक्टेरिया फंजाई प्रोटेस्टेंट ग्रुप्स and viruses all these are different groups of microorganisms a number of species described and currently accepted in most groups of microorganism worldwide 
are relatively 1,43,000 and 18,500. Uh, these are different uh, number of uh, species uh, which are currently accepted uh, about from uh, microorganism uh, worldwide. Uh, again, I'm, uh, in bacterial species, की बात करें तो हर साल bacterial species हर साल जो 120 new bacterial species हैं और साथ साथ 1500 new fungi species ये हर साल add होती रहती हैं इसका मतलब है इतनी ज़्यादा species हर साल discover की जा रही हैं और पुरानी list में add होती जाती हैं लेकिन अभी तक हम microorganism के की complete diversity or species number के बारे में एक confirm नहीं बता सकते कि इनकी कितने number हैं कि population की कितनी species मौजूद हैं this clearly demonstrating that knowledge of this group is grossly inadequate here in this slide we will discuss about some programs about these microbial genetic resources which are working worldwide to conserve these genetic resources and which are working on these microbial genetic resources. So first of all, to establish a long-term microbial preservation facility as National Culture Collection of Pakistan, which is also known as NCCP, for collection and preservation of microbial genetic resources from Pakistani ecology for basic and applied microbiology and biotechnology research following the best practice guidelines of OECD. It means that we have different species of Pakistan and different microbial genetic resources and we can preserve and conserve them. To distribute the economically important strains to scientific community, institutions and and industry on commercial basis for research or utilization in industrial process as regular activity of the NCCP by following national and international laws and regulation. And these are our objectives of microbial genetic resource program. Uh, so dear students, uh, in this module, uh, we have discussed about uh, the, the uh, next category of genetic resources uh, which is uh, uh, micro microorganism genetic resources or genetic resources of microorganism it means that uh, all those genetic material which is present in inside uh, a microorganism and all those genetic material um, uh, must have some actual, actual or the potential value um, and we can use um, um, these resources for different purpose as well uh, we have discussed uh, we have discussed about different types of uh, micro Microbial genetic resources or microorganism genetic resources uh, like uh, fungi, uh, uh, like algae, um, bacteria, etc. Uh, we've also discussed about some program in Pakistan to conserve uh, this type of genetic resources. Uh, in this module, uh, you will learn about the significance of uh, uh, genetic resources of microorganism. We will uh, discuss about that how the, these type of genetic organism are uh, playing important role for for us on industrial and commercial level. Thank you. So friends, finally, our video is complete. Now, let's go ahead.
एक्सरसाइज के बाद नंबर्स ऑफ स्पीशीज डिस्क्राइब्ड एंड करेक्टली एक्सेप्टेड इन मोस्ट ग्रुप्स ऑफ एंड माइक्रोवेज ऑफ वर्ल्ड वाइड आर रिस्पेक्टिवली वन फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड एंड वन एटीन फिफ्टी एटीन सॉरी वन एटी फाइव हंड्रेड एटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड उसके बाद में वन ट्वेंटी न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ फंजाए आर एडिट एडिड टू साइंस ईच ईयर This clearly demonstrating that knowledge of these groups is grossly inadequate. To establish a long-term microbial preservation facility as National Culture Collection of Pakistan for collection and preservation of microbial genetic resources for from Pakistani ecology for basic and applied microbial microbiology and. biotechnology research following the best practice guidelines of OECD OECD 2001 to distribute the economically important strains to scientific community instructions institutions and the industry on commercial basis for research or utilization in the industrial processes as a regular activity of the MCCP by following national and international laws and regulations so ye hamara topic ho gaya hai turn hum chalte hain aage video sun lete hain significance of genetic resources of micro organisms dear student in previous lecture we have learned about genetic resources of micro organism in this module you will learn about importance of micro organism importance of micro organism in agriculture role of of micro organism in food production system and application of bacteria as microbial factories for natural product micro organisms are playing a much important role in ecosystem for example these micro organisms are playing a role of symbionts symbiosis is mu is a mutual beneficial relationship between two different organisms in which both partner or in which both organisms get benefits from each other for example endophytes mycorrhiza are example of such type of relationship rhizobia and salmon bacteria are the strains of bacteria which are responsible for nitrogen fixation in environment these microorganisms are also playing a role of biodegradation of dead animal and plant material through the this they clean our environment from pollution these microorganisms controlling the size of population of plants and insect through their natural bio bio control also using this microorganisms for the production of different type of antibiotics what is antibiotic antibiotic is a chemical substance produced by microorganisms that can kill or inhibit the growth of other microorganisms or antibiotics kill or inhibit other microorganisms by interfering the metabolic process in the bacterium that is not found in the host this is a picture of a penicillin fungus which is responsible for the production of penicillin antibiotic presence of microorganisms in agriculture these microorganisms are playing much important role in the field of agriculture yes soil microorganism is responsible for plant growth promotion they are also important in understanding and surveillance of of microbial plant pathogens they are playing a role as biological control through this they control different insects and pests from our field through beneficial they are also playing a role of beneficial symbiosis in the gut of ruminant life stock and they produce different chemicals of direct benefit to agriculture role of microorganism in food production system in food production system these microorganisms are playing a role of fermentation can probiotics probiotics is a substance which stimulate the growth 
both of microorganisms, especially those with beneficial properties uh, such as as those of the intestinal flora, production of chemicals of benefit to food production, and understanding and surveillance of health hazardous microorganisms such as food toxins and food borne pathogens. Application of bacteria as microbial factories for natural product. Bacteria may be described as a tiny chemical factories that take up simple molecules. like sugar or alcohol as nutrients and utilize them to build all components that are necessary for basic cell metabolism thus so called primary metabolites via their uh, intrinsic enzyme machinery in addition they are able to synthesize a diverse spectrum of other species specific secondary metabolites these are more complex molecules which full distinct function beyond the primary metabolism because of these specific functions uh, such as uh, rebalance of competing organism they are often great value for for human use uh, such as antibiotics such compounds are often also simply called natural product to distinguish them from substances with similar properties but originating in organic chemistry since the recovery of such valuable natural products from natural producers is typically limited. There is an increasing demand to exploit the cell machinery of bacteria and direct it toward desired natural product by molecular engineering, thus generating small designer cell factories. Different studies has reported the biosynthesis of various classes of natural products with Sodomonas petita cell factories like pigments. Pigments are are natural coloring matter of animal or plant tissue. Microorganisms are known as a potential source for biopigment production due to their advantages over plant in terms of availability, stability, and cost efficiency, labor, yield, and easy downstream processing. Varieties of biopigments have been produced, such as keratinides, melanins, flavins, etc. The next article is antibiotics. The drugs and surfactants. A surfactants is a substance which tends to reduce the surface tension of a liquid in which it is dissolved. Many microorganisms, especially bacteria, produce biosurfactants when grown on water in a substrate. Biosurfactants are more effective, selective, environment friendly, and stable than many synthetic surfactants. Most common biosurfactants are glycolipid and the next category is flavors thank you so friends our video will be complete and we will see you in the next video Microorganisms by interfering the metabolic process 
process in the bacterium that is not found in the host okay what is the microorganism in agriculture plant growth promotion through microorganisms in the understanding and surve- surveillance of microbial plant pathogens biological uh, control beneficial symbiosis in the guts of ruminant livestock production of an- chemicals of direct benefit to agriculture work work forces in agro industrial processes role of microorganism in food production system fermentation probiotics production of chemical chemicals of benefit to food production understanding and surveillance of health hazards microbes such as food toxins and food borne pathogens okay next is applications of bacteria as microbial factories for natural products nutrients intrinsic metabolism amino acids fatty acids sugars isoprenes designed uh, genetic information pigments antibiotics drugs surfactants and flavors aur ye p potida potida hai theek hai uske baad ye hamara topic ho jata hai iske sath hi complete hum chalte hain apne agle topic ki taraf that is topic number 24 genetic diversity so is the same scene hai iski hum cancer cancer ppts iski pad lete hain theek hai
ability to perform its its inherent role in the whole ecosystem the whole loss of genetic diversity within a species result in the loss of useful and desirable traits for example resistance to parasites reduced diversity eliminate options to use untapped resources for food production industry medicine ओके okay, इसी के साथ हमारा टॉपिक होता है कंप्लीट हम चलते हैं आगे अगले टॉपिक की तरफ चलते हैं सो so, हमारा अगला टॉपिक है इंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज इंट्रोडक्शन टॉपिक नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इन केस इसकी वीडियो भी वैसे ही आ रही है तो ये ओपन नहीं होगी इसकी खैर पिपटीज है तो वो पढ़ लेते हैं सही ओके सो इंडिया जेंट स्पीशीज इन पाकिस्तान इंडिया जेंट स्पीशीज इन पाकिस्तान लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंडिया जेंट स्पीशीज वाइट स्पीशीज बिकम इंडेंजर्ड अ स्पीशीज ऑफ प्लांट और एनिमल दैट इज इन इन immediate danger of becoming extinct and needs protection to survive endangered species are like uh, f- uh, fire alarms they tell us about problems in our home uh, we call us endangered species must be protected for better health of earth and ecosystem balancing sahi ho gaya pakistan uh, endangered species in pakistan pakistan is host to a number of endemic species and uh, sub species so some birds have their principal uh, surviving population located in pakistan the north northern areas of uh, pakistan provide a habitat for number of for a number of globally significant wildlife species the survival of these species is threatened by loss of habitat stemming uh, from human activities excessive hunting by locals and uh, outsiders uh, outsiders and weak uh, enforcement of wildlife protection laws why species become endangered over hunting or over harvesting habitat loss highly specialized species pollution new species uh, introduction and competition human wildlife uh, conflict disease low birth rate high genetic vulnerability and then isi ka samajh mein topic hota hai complete चलते हैं आगे हमारा टॉपिक नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंडिया जेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ पाकिस्तान ये सेम केस है ये नहीं खुलेगी हम इसके पीपीटीज पढ़ लेते हैं Population has increased by 20 percent. 
Asian black bear. This big black mustard bear seems to seems to be an interesting hunting trophy for many people. Expansion of uh, human settlement into the wildlife territory has affected their growth. This is putting a threat on their species. Snow leopard, uh, a unique creature in the mountains, uh, mountainous areas of Pakistan, estimated that the total remaining population is seven thousand to ten thousand worldwide. Approximately three hundred are found in Pakistan due to hunting and rapid human expansion. There is a very little amount of this beast left. Okay. So, our topic is done. Let's move on. Okay, हम लोग के पास है क्लास नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज टू इंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज इन पाकिस्तान डेयर स्टूडेंट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव डिस्क discussed about endangered species and why species become endangered we have also discussed some most important endangered species of pakistan now in this module we will discuss some other endangered species which are present in pakistan like the marco polo sheep the marbled deer white headed deer and the musk deer so first of all we will discuss marco polo sheep marco polo sheep is one of the endangered species found in the high altitude of program due to illegal hunting and human interference in their core habitat in the Punjab National Park in Upper Hansa its population has remained very few according to last year census conducted by forest department of gilgit baltistan its number was counted only 72 during 1960s there used to be more than 1000 marco polo sheep near the china border Order on Jirab Drop, but unfortunately, after the arrival of Chinese and Pakistani forces for the construction of Karakoram Highway, they started illegal hunting of these rare species and continuous flow of vehicles and use of heavy explosive chemical in their habitat resulted in their migration to the Chinese side. And a very few Marco Polo sheep remains there. In 1974, George Shaler proposed that there should be a national park. in order to protect the endangered species of marco polo sheep as of ikar ali bhutto then prime minister of pakistan accepted his proposal and in 1975 punjab national park was established with the aim to protect the main species of marco polo sheep on the few marco polo sheep were sighted by the locals in 1989 but after that no one has ever reported its presence since the next is white headed duck when the population of the globally significant white headed duck have decreasing significantly in the number during the last few year with only an estimated 50 birds remaining winter sites in pakistan are limited to three adjoining wetlands known as the uchali complex in punjab the next animal is musk deer adult musk deer male will have a prominent downward curving and nine teeth which is an unusual feature for a members of the deer family this species is present in the majara and nilam valley in azad kashmir in the gilgit area and the plas valley must it have become extremely rare because people trap and kill them to obtain a valuable pot containing musk which is sold for use in the perfume although trade in musk is controlled by convention of international trade in endangered species Enforcement is difficult, and the survival of musk deer are in doubt. And the last endangered species is long-billed vulture. These creatures may seem sinister because they are flesh eaters, but they play an important role in Pakistan's ecological landscape. They feed off dead animals and are an important part of the Parsi's community's ritual deposition of their dead. The deadly drug. of next sodium which is used in the feed for cattle is a chemical compound that kills these vultures at a rapid rate pakistani skies were populated by throngs of vultures until 2001 and now areas like changamanga forest which boasted a population of over 1500 vultures has 
none today. So dear student, now you have idea about endangered species and different reasons for these species to become endangered. These species need our help. There's still time for us to protect this species and we can protect and conserve this species by first of all give your time to nature the best way to help endangered species is to protect the environment where they live secondly create a wildlife friendly home work to cultivate an environmentally friendly home and finally join an organization which support the environment and which support the conservation and protection of these endangered species thank you
Dear students, in this module, you will learn about gene environment interaction. That how genotype respond to environment variation in different ways. You will also learn about different conception about gene environment interaction. So let's start with the definition of gene environment interaction. The history of defining gene environment interaction dates back to the 1930s and remains a topic of debate today. The first instance of debate between Ronald Fisher and the Lancelot Hogwin, we can define gene environment interaction or genotype interaction, also known as GXE, is an interaction when two different genotypes respond to environmental variation in different ways. A norm of reaction is a graph that shows the relation between genes and environmental factors. When phenotypic differences are continuous, they can help illustrate gene GXE interaction when the norm of reaction is not parallel. As shown in the figure, there is a gene environment interaction. This indicates that each genotype responds to environment in different ways. Environment variation can be physical, chemical, biological, behavior pattern, or life events. Gene environment in Interaction are studied to gain a better understanding of various phenomena in genetic epidemiology. Gene environment interaction are useful for understanding some diseases. Sometimes sensitivity to environmental risk factors for a disease are inherited rather than the disease itself being inherited. Individuals with different genotypes are affected differently by exposure to the same environmental factor, and thus gene environment interaction can be seen in different disease phenotypes. For example, sunlight exposure has a strong influence on skin cancer risk in the fair skinned humans than individuals with adult skin. There are two different conceptions about gene environment interaction that every has level than the biometric and developmental interaction. While society uses the term Statistical and common sense interaction. Biometric gene environment interaction. The biometric or the statistical conception has its origin in research programs that seek to measure the relative proportion of genetic and environmental contribution to the phenotypic variation within population. Biometric gene environment interaction has particular currency in population genetics and behavior genetics. And Interaction result in a breakdown of the heredity of the main effects of heredity and environment. But when such interaction is present in particular city is an empirical question. Biometric interaction is relevant in the context of research on individual differences rather than in the context of development of a particular organism. Developmental gene environment interaction is a concept more commonly used by developmental geneticists and developmental psychobiologists. Developmental interaction is not seen merely as a statistical phenomenon. Whether statistical interaction is present or not, developmental interaction is in any case manifested in the casual interaction of genes and environments and producing an individual's phenotype. Dear student, dear student, in this module, you have learned about gene environment interaction that how genotype respond to environment variation in different ways and how different genotypes are affected differently by exposure to the same environmental factors. You have also learned about different conceptions about gene environment interaction. In the next module, you will learn about how we can analyze gene environment interaction. Thank you. So, the topic is gene environment interaction. Gene environment interaction or genotype environment interaction or G uh, cross E 
is when two different genotypes respond to environmental variation in different ways. There are two different conceptions of gene-environment interaction. Tabari um, has labeled them biometric and developmental interaction. Sasadik uses them to use the terms uh, statistical and common sense common sense interaction. Uske baad, biometric gene environment interaction. The biometric or statistical conception has its origins in research programs that seeks to measure the relative proportions of genetic and uh, environmental contributions to phenotypic variation within populations. So, a biometric gene environment interaction has particular currency in population genetics and behavioral uh, genetics. If any interaction results in the breakdown of the additivity of the main effects of the of heredity and environment, but whether such interactions is um, in present in particular settings in, is an empirical question. Biometric interaction is relevant in the context of research on individual differences rather than in the context of the of development of a particular organism. So, you see, about me, my past. Hey, developmental gene environment interaction. Developmental gene environment interaction is a concept more commonly used by a developmental geneticist and a developmental psychobiologist. Developmental interaction is not seen merely as a statistical phenomenon. Whether statistical interaction is present or not, developmental interaction is in any case manifested in the in the causal. Uh, interaction of genes and environments in producing an individual's phenotype. Sahi. This norm of reaction shows lines that, uh, that are not thoroughly indicating a gene by environment interaction. Each genotype is responding to environmental variation in different ways. Sahi. I will जीन एनवायरनमेंट इंटरेक्शन अब हम इसकी वीडियो सुन लेते हैं टॉपिक नंबर 29 जीन एनवायरनमेंट इंटरेक्शन मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस डियर स्टूडेंट इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट जीन एनवायरनमेंट इंटरेक्शन दैट हाउ जीन द टाइप रिस्पॉन्ड टू एनवायरनमेंट वेरिएशन इन डिफरेंट वेज वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड द डिफरेंट कांसेप्ट्स अबाउट जीन एनवायरनमेंट इंटरेक्शन Now, in this module, we will discuss about different methods to analyze gene environment interaction. There are two main methods to analyze gene environment interaction. The first method is traditional genetic designs, and the second is molecular analysis. So, let's start with traditional genetic design. In traditional genetic design, we can analyze gene environment interaction. or genotype environment interaction or gxe through adoption studies twin studies and through family study adoption studies adoption studies have been used to investigate how similar individuals that have been adopted are to their biological parents with whom they did not share the same environment with additionally adopted individuals are pair to their adoptive family due to differences in genes but shared environment for example an adoption study showed that at swedish men with this advantage adoptive environments and a genetic predisposition were more likely to abuse alcohol the second is twin studies using monozygotic twins the effect of different environments on identical genotype could be observed later studies leveraged by metrical modeling techniques to include the comparison of dizygotic twins to ultimately determine the different levels of gene expression in different environments and the third is family study family based research focus on comparison of low risk control to high risk children to determine the environmental effect on subjects with different levels of genetic risk for example a danish study on high risk children with schizophrenic mother showed that children without a stable caregiver were associated with 
and increase the risk of schizophrenia. The next method is molecular analysis. In molecular analysis, we determine that does type effect of specific genes differ into environment and we can determine it through interaction with single genes, interactions with multiple genes, and genome-wide association studies and genome-wide interaction studies. Interaction with single genes the often used method to detect gene environment interaction is by studying the effect of a single gene variation or the candidate gene has with respect to a particular environment. Single nucleotide polymorphism are compared with single binary exposure factor to determine any effect. Candidate studies such as these require strong biological hypotheses which are currently difficult to select given the little understanding of biological mechanism that lead to higher risk. These studies are also often difficult to replicate commonly due to small sample size which typically result in disputed results. The polygenic nature of complex phenotypes suggests single candidate studies could be effective in determining the various smaller scale effects from the large number of influencing gene variants. The next is interaction with multiple genes. Since the same environment factors could interact with multiple genes, a polygenic approach can be taken to analyze GXC interaction. A polygenic score is generated using the alleles associated with the trait and their respective weights based on effects and examined in combination with environmental exposure. Though this method of research is still early, it is consistent with psychiatric disorders. As a result of the overlap of endophenotypes among disorders, this suggests that the outcome of gene environment interaction are applicable across various diagnoses. The last is genome-wide association studies and genome-wide interaction studies. A genome-wide interaction scheme approaches examine the interaction between the environment and a large number of independent single nucleotide polymorphism. An effective approach to this all-encompassing studies occur in two steps where the genome is first filtered using gene level test and pathways based gene set analysis. The second, the second step uses the single nucleotide polymorphism with, with gene environment association and test for interaction. Dear student, this slide shows different environmental conditions like the family environment, work environment, classroom environment, stress, friends, social support exposure to accidents, divorce, other life events, and subjective process involved in the filling. Dear student, in this module, you have learned about different methods to analyze gene environment interaction. In the next module, you will learn about different examples of gene environment interactions. Thank you. Interaction methods of analysis. Learning objective how to identify gene environment interaction, traditional genetic designs, molecular analysis. How to identify gene environment interaction? There are two main methods to analyze the gene environment interaction, traditional genetic designs, molecular analysis. Adoption studies, traditional genetic design, adoption studies, adoption studies have been used to investigate how similar individuals that have been adopted are to their are to their uh, biological parents with whom they did not share the same environment with. Twin studies or uh, using monozygotic twins, the effects of uh, different environments on identical genotypes could be observed. Later studies are uh, leverage biometric biometrical modeling techniques to include the comparisons of dizygotic twins to ultimately determine the different levels of gene expression in different environments. Family studies. Family-based research focuses on the comparison of low-risk controls to high-risk children to determine the environmental effects on subjects with different levels of genetic risk. Molecular
Molecular analysis. Does the effect of uh, specific genes differ in two environments interaction with single genes, interaction with multiple genes? Genome wide uh, association studies and genome wide interaction studies. Molecular analysis, interaction with single genes, the often used method to detect gene environment and interactions is by studying the effect of uh, single gene variation candidate gene has with respect to a particular environment. Single nucleotide polymorphisms are compared with single binary exposure factors to determine any effects. Okay, molecular analysis may interaction with multiple genes since the same environmental factors could inherit uh, could interact with multiple genes a polygenic approach can be taken to analyze gene uh, environment interactions genome wide association studies and genome wide interaction study or genome wide interaction can scan gene, uh, gene interaction GEWIS approach examines the interaction between the environment and a large number of independent SNPs. Many measures of the environment show genetic influence approximately 30%. SES, family environment, work environment, uh, classroom environment, stress friends, social support, exposure to accidents, divorce. Other fam uh, life event, life events, subjective uh, processes involved in filling life events and uh, circumstances not just happen to us. Genes and experience and experiences are correlated. So, this topic is complete. Another topic is done. Gene environment interaction examples. So, this is the topic of the topic of the gene environment interaction example. Dear student, in our previous module, you have learned about gene environment interaction or genotype environment interaction or GXC. That how genotype respond to environment variation in different ways. You have also learned about different concepts behind gene environment interaction and different methods to analyze gene environment interaction like traditional genetic design and molecular analysis. Now in this module you will learn about different examples of gene environment interaction. So let's start with some examples in the Drosophila. In Drosophila a classic example of gene environment interaction was performed on Drosophila by Gupta and Leontin in 1981. In their experiment they demonstrated that the mean bristles number on Drosophila could vary with changing environment as seen in this graph. Different genotypes reacted differently to the changing environment. Each line represents a given genotype and the slope of the lines reflect the changing phenotype with changing temperature. Some individuals had an increase in bristle number with increasing temperature while others had a sharp decrease in bristle number with increasing temperature. This showed that the norms of reaction were not parallel for these flies proving that gene environment interactions exist. The next example of gene environment interactions present in plants. In plants seven genetically distinct ear plants were collected and three cuttings taken from each plant. One cutting of each genotype was planted at low, medium and high elevations respectively. When the plants matured no one genotype grew best at all altitudes and at each altitude the seven genotype fared differently. For example one genotype grew the tallest at the medium elevation but attained only middling height at the other two elevations. The best growers at low and high elevation grew poorly at the medium elevation. The medium altitude produced the worst overall result but still yielded one tall and two medium tall samples. Altitude had an effect on each genotype but not to the same degree nor in the same way. Phenylcatenoria or the PAU. It is a human genetic condition caused by mutations to a gene coding for a particular liver enzyme. In the absence of this enzyme, an amino acid known as phenylalanine does not get converted into the next amino acid in a biochemical pathway and therefore too much phenylalanine passes into the blood and other tissues. Change in environment like learning phenylalanine 
when in conception can affect the phenotype of a particular trait demonstrating a gene environment interaction here are some more examples of gene environment interaction i have zero derma pigment which sometimes leads to cancer knowing this i avoided sunlight because i can't protect myself from mutations from uv light and because because I avoided sunlight, I have helped to prevent cancer from developing. I wasn't as careful. I didn't listen and I often went out into the sunlight even though I knew as your twin I had xeroderma pigmentosum as well. As a result of this interaction between my genes and the environment of extra sunlight, I did develop skin cancer. I was born with phenylketonuria, PKU, and because I wasn't immediately put on a special diet which lacked the amino acid phenylalanine. Toxic byproduct build up in my brain causing mental death deficits. I was also born with PKU, but because I was put on a special diet after being diagnosed at birth, a diet which lacked phenylalanine, these toxic byproducts did not build up and I'm fine. I did not suffer the ill effects of PKU because of the interaction between the gene and my modified diet. I have a form of the gene. DRD2, which seems to facilitate addiction to drugs, in that more people addicted to drugs have my form of DRD2 than would otherwise be expected. But since I never took drugs, I never became addicted to them. My inability to make alcohol dehydrogenase could easily result in alcoholism because I can't break down alcohol well but since I don't take alcohol regularly I ne never became an alcoholic I have a form of the cytop chrome p450 enzymes which is often associated with an easier addiction to cigarettes and unfortunately I took to smoking and I became addicted. And so, there seems to be an interaction between genes and environment, but because I provided a bad to determine the pigmentation of my hair is a temperature sensitive mutation which interacts with the temperature of the environment on a certain region of the body. So my hair is a light yellow. The hair on my arm is a reddish brown. The hair in my armpits is white. My pubic hair is a light brown and the hair on my legs is a dark brown. I do not possess genes for each of these shades, but rather a genetic mutation which interacts with the environment to determine phenotype. So finally, what do we do? Okay, Pata? Examples learning objective difference also different examples of gene environment interaction in dosophila mean bris, mean bristle number or um, dosophila could vary with changing temperatures in plants seven 
genetically distinct ERO plants were collected and three cutting taken from each plant one cutting of each genotype was planted at low medium and high high elevation respectively when the plant matured no one genotype grew best at all the altitudes uh, altitudes and each in the teach altitude the seven genotypes fared differently for example one genotype grew the tallest at the medium elevation but attained only middling height at the other two elevations okay uske baad mein the best growers at low low and high elevation grew poorly at medium elevation the medium altitude produced the worst overall results but still yielded of one tall and two medium tall uh, samples altitude had an effect on each genotype but not to the same degree or not in the same way okay final ke to nuria pku it is a human genetic dis, uh, condition caused by mutation to gene gene coding for a particular liver enzyme in the absence of this enzyme an amino acid known as phenyl ala9 does not get converted into the next amino acid in a biochemical pathway and therefore too much phenyl ala9 passes into the blood and other tissues change in environment lowering phenyl ala9 ala9 consumption can affect the phenotype of a particular trait demonstrating a gene environment interaction selected examples of gene environment interactions observed in at least two studies chow yes selected and deletion variation for fair skin color environmental exposure sunlight or ultraviolet light b uske baad hai variant 32 deletion hiv uske baad ala2221 polymorphism folic acid intake rapid versus low acetylator snps heterocyclic uh, amines in cooked meat leaden prothrombic variant hormone replacement slow metabolism snps aspirin e4 allele cholesterol intake gamma 2 alleles alcohol intake pro 12a uh, 12 ala dietary fat fat intake glu 69 occupational beryllium ala i uh, 154 thr and tyr 24 o cys thiopurine drugs arginine arg uh, 16 gly asthma drugs okay so ye bhi sare examples se so hamara yahan tak hamara topic number 30 tak to jo hai wo hamara koi first quiz ka jo syllabus hai wo complete hota hai maine yahan tak complete karna tha ab iske baad hum agli book ka padhenge theek hai thank you so much allah hafiz